Everybody, how's it going? Can you guys hear me oh, out there? Oh, fucking a! Was that my mortar? What happened yeah. there? That was. Were either of you lavender or marine? No, we're not in this game. We're in the oh, okay. I just got teamed and rinsed. Ugh. Can you guys hear me on the stream here? Just go ahead and give me a sound check. Kind of new to all this stuff. Awesome. How's everybody doing tonight? So guys, what I got in for us today, a uh, couple things. Obviously, we got some giveaway winners going on for the last three Timu videos. Um, hosting our first stream, kind of a celebration for hitting that 12,000 subscriber mark. I appreciate everybody here. Mr. Alvin, good to see you, buddy. Alvin, Alvin, where are you from, bud? Also got a couple other things going on tonight. So I've been working on a video about, the video is about pallets, unboxing pallets, getting random tech, Amazon returns, stuff like that. So in one of my pallets, I swear to you guys, I did not order these. All of these Timus were in one single box. So I figured we open up a couple of them, go through them, check them out. Maybe we'll have some extra giveaways here. We'll see. Mr. Alvin, so. Alvin, everybody, meet Alvin. Alvin has been one of my most supportive subscribers. He uh, he joined my membership. Um, I know I don't have a lot to offer on the membership at this point, so I really appreciate it. Thank you for that, Alvin. It's just a small way to support the channel. Super appreciative. So, Alvin, 
I have a special giveaway for you tonight. We'll talk about it here in a little bit, okay? I'm going to get that shipped out to you. I'll let you know what it is. Um, my giveaways are always free to enter. Just kind of be there, subscribe, chat, whatever. But Alvin, I just, I'm going to have a special one for you tonight. So make sure to stick around. Always appreciate it. So first off, while we're waiting to see, you know, if a couple more people join, I don't expect it to be a huge stream being my first stream ever. We'll go over what we're giving away tonight. Let me go ahead and grab that. I should have had that ready. All right, so one of the things we're going to be giving away here is this nice BenQ camera. Now, I have been trying to set this up pretty nice, so let's check this out. Uh, first stream, by the way, I had to learn all of this software. So right here, we have the BenQ speaker. If you guys saw the video, we're going to be giving this one away here. So the BenQ speaker is going to be given away specifically to someone in the stream, okay? So the stream is going to win this one right here. Now, in order to win the other one, this is the Sazur 4K desk camera. Did a video about this, I believe about a week ago. And this right here is going to be given away to one of the comments that was there. Um, so we'll be doing a random pick on that one. And then last but not least was the Gravistar stuff. So let's here, let's switch over. All right, so these are the Gravistar things. You have the charger, 65 watt charger. Then you have the Sirius P5 earbuds. So one of these will be going away tonight too. So I'm saying one because I like to keep something from certain companies because in the future I hope to do some more collabs with Gravistar because their stuff is super neat. Um, there's not much quite like it, especially in the realm of charging things. Get a closer look for those of you guys who missed the videos. Check this little guy out. So this is just a 65 watt charging brick. It's got some little legs. Honestly, it's just super neat. Plus it charges really fast. Hey, all in one. Also, hello to anybody else who said hi. Still new to watching the chat. We're going to work on that. Got a couple other things I wanted to go over tonight that are kind of cool too. So I'm going to be giving away one of these as well. This is a surprise pop-up. It's going to go away to somebody in the chat. I actually haven't opened any of these yet. So this is from a new company called Cyberbyte. They make these mice and they seem super nice, but I haven't opened them. I haven't checked them out at all. They're actually not even out yet. But we'll be checking a couple of these out, giving some away. And we'll be going through some of the Timu packages. Not really sure how long we're going to go on the stream tonight, but we'll kind of see how it goes. Thanks, Gaming to the Max. Appreciate it. You know, if the streams kick off, if people like them, we'll try to do them a lot more. I've watched a few streamers in the past, but this is definitely my first one. So it should be a fun time. All right, so since this one here doesn't require you to be on the stream for the winner it only requires well it has one main requirement you got to comment on the video and you have to live in the continental u.s mexico or canada now i am trying to find a better shipping way because i know a lot of my viewers are over in the uk and a couple other places so we're going to work on that but we can go ahead and pick the winner for that one right now so let me go ahead and get this set up here and we'll get to it So aside from that, also, if there are things you guys want to see reviewed in future videos, now would be a great time to talk about it. That would be fantastic to hear. I would love to get some ideas, recommendations. I know you guys like seeing the Timu stuff, but what else you got for me? What kind of stuff have you ordered from there, Justin? So we'll do the Cezur video first. Let me get all this sorted. All right, let's go ahead and swap over to the left screen. We'll take a peek here. Now, sometimes when we do this, we have to kind of go through some of the, uh, the choices first because some people will be asking where they're from and stuff like that. 
So let's go ahead. We're here on pickawinner.co. I've got the link to the Caesar webcam video in there. Let's go ahead and fetch it. Now I don't want replies or duplicates, so we're gonna go with just single one. All right, here we go, picking a winner. Well, look at that. Vice versa VR, you are gonna be the winner. I don't know if you're here tonight. If you're here, you know, say something here for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to save all this information here so I know who the winner is. All right, got that saved up there. Go ahead and pop back over here. Okay, let's see what we got. So you've ordered all kinds of stuff. Are you sticking with more electronics there, Justin? Or are you kind of going for some home goods, stuff like that? Alvin, you want to see more scooters? Actually, I have a couple more companies who want to send me scooters to check out. Um, I want to order some myself too, but I really want to get some recommendations on which ones people want to see. Okay, nice. Just bought a Sen Tech Form 1 battery charger and air compressor. Okay. So you want to see more Gravistar gaming to the max? That's kind of the interest you're looking for, huh? Interesting. All right, well, while we're kind of waiting around, what do you guys think? Should we check out these mice here first? Or should we jump into a couple of the bags of the absolutely random Timu stuff? Now, to explain the Timu bags, you guys go ahead and vote which one you want to see first. But the Timu bags, they are basically undelivered parcels, if you will. For some reason, they couldn't get to the owner. So eventually, they get kind of sent back to a place, and then they're sold off in these giant pallets. So we got one vote for the Timu stuff. Two votes from the same person. We'll count it. We'll count it. Do the Timu bags. This is interesting. Okay. All right. It looks like the Timu bags are winning here. Now, I can't promise the stuff in them is going to be interesting because it is completely random. I have no idea what's in them, but you guys have voted. So let's go ahead and jump into a couple of those. You guys want me to hold them up here or do you want to see the overhead view? Last, last vote. I'll show you the overhead view again real quick. So overhead view right here or holding them up. You guys get to choose. Hey, I'm brand new to streaming. Got one vote for the overhead. I'll go ahead and grab a bag while you guys throw the comments out there. Oh, Justin wants me to pick. Also, just so you guys know, this is from one of the last Timu videos. This is the cup that looks like a camera lens. As you can see, it's being used. All right, overhead it is. Let's go ahead and get into it. I don't think I should dox these people's names, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over. All right. Now, keep in mind, guys, it looks like I'm seeing a hat first off. This, this could be what's, what's in this bag. I have no, honest, no idea. No idea. Actually, I don't think that's, I don't think that's a hat. So, we're going to set this to the side, and I'll pull stuff up slowly. A lasso. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a random video for sure. Um, you know, if I had to guess, I'd say these are uh, dowels <laughs> or placemats. But man, this is going to be some random stuff, guys. This is going to be random stuff. We'll, we'll go on to the next one. All right, who's not excited about dental floss picks? I don't think I need to open this up any further. I don't think those need to, we don't need to go into depth about those. Oh, man. Then we got, looks like a wrist rest. Some kind of back rest. It feels like whoever was ordering this stuff was in a little bit of trouble with some support, huh? 
Now, if we find anything interesting here and you guys are interested in it and you want it, shout it out. I don't plan on keeping any of this stuff. We can work something out. Chinese Frisbees. Yeah, the placemats look like Chinese Frisbees. So here's some of the stuff from the uh, the first bag. If you guys are just joining us, um, we're going through some random Timu bags, just checking out what it's going. Hello, Spooky's Reviews. All right. Oh, before I check. Okay. All right. You know what? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. How's that for a sign? Interesting. Again, if anybody's interested in this stuff, let me know. Let me know. We can, I, I do not need to store it. Uh, Clyde, what did you mean about comments on a video? Oh, it's inverted. Sorry about that. Let me fix that. Hold on one sec. I didn't realize that one was inverted. Okay, there we go. I'll give everyone a chance to check that out. You you want this poster? All right, we can probably make that we can probably make that happen gaming to the max. There it is for those who want to see it. All right, let's see what else we got in these random Timu packages. Honestly, I have been trying for I've been trying for weeks to try to find a retailer that would sell me a whole ton of this stuff. So it was really cool to find these in a box. Look at that. We got ourselves another back support. Interesting to see what other people order here. All right, coming up next, what do we got? We got another little wooden heart. Thanks for all the things you do. It's great to have a sister-in-law like you. I feel like somebody probably would have wanted that one. Uh, Spooky's reviews. You might have to be over 18 to buy the membership, but I do appreciate the thought. <laughs> All right. Coming into this, what do we got here? You know, I'm not reading the names. Let's just, let's just see what's inside. Actually, I got to be careful with that because there are certain unfriendly things that might be in these boxes. I know Wish sold a lot of those unfriendly things, but let me, give me two seconds. Okay, it seems friendly, it seems friendly. What do we got here? Looks like we got some kind of metal candle stand. Oh, musical notes. Looks like you mount them up, hang them on the wall, and the candles sit right in here. That's actually kind of neat. Neat idea. Seems like we got a couple more viewers coming in. I'll just kind of update you guys on what we're doing. So, so far we did one of the giveaways already. Oh, gifted memberships. Well, thank you. Thank you, Alvin. Look at this man. See, this guy has been supporting the channel since day one. Alvin, man, that's too kind of you. I need to set up some sound effects for that kind of stuff if we're going to keep doing this streaming. See, that's why I told that guy he was getting something nice tonight. So what we're doing right now is we are going through some random Timu packages. Just something kind of fun. They came in a big pallet of stuff, and I thought we'd open some of them here on stream. I'll use some of them to make a video. Might be a good video. Might be a video opening stuff like this. Could be a good video still. Also, for those of us just joining, we did do the giveaway already for the Sazur camera here. And the Sazur camera went out to Vice Versa VR. Their comment said, I remember when you only had 100 subs. Yeah, absolutely, Justin, I agree. I am hooking that man up. That guy has been there. He's commented. He's probably watched every single video I've got, and I really appreciate it. I'm not a huge channel. I'm not some massive YouTuber, so I try to reply to as many people as I can, and I try to just try to get out the comment and content you guys like. All right, so last up in those bags, we got a couple more rings and a couple more of these sayings. Again, if you guys live inside the US and you want some of this stuff, make sure to shout it out. Uh, this, this stuff, I would be happy to send it out. Oh. 
That's right. Show Alvin the love. Alvin is the man of the stream so far. Not me. He's the star. <laughs> Gaming to the Mac. You said you wanted that poster. Were you talking about this thing? If you were, it is yours. It's actually made of metal. Kind of nice, actually. Yeah, if you want that, reach out to me on Instagram, and we will absolutely get that over to you. All right. Last thing we have in the box is this little thing. See if it'll filter. Oh, there we go. It's a little pendant that says, I'll read it. It says, thank you for being my brother. Kind of like a little keychain ring. I mean, the things they get from Timu, like so far, everything we've seen, it doesn't show up in my Timu, probably because I'm always searching tech stuff. I say we just keep going through a couple more bags, see what else we got in here. Ooh, what do we got here? I'll pop back over to the other screen here. One second. I have no idea what this is. I, I have no idea what this is. I don't know what this is. This looks like something you might get from Wish. Um, you know, that might be something kind of unsavory or maybe my mind's in the wrong place. If you guys know what this thing is, let me know. I'm very curious. All right. So when you guys are watching my Timu videos, what are some other things you want to see? Uh, do you guys prefer the videos where I have a whole bunch of random stuff or do you prefer them like, uh, like my knife or my drone video where it's specified on like one thing? What do you guys think? Or would you guys like to see me get more random packages like this? You think that might be a hanger, Justin, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure the locks and so you want to see more knife and camping stuff too. Well, thank you for subscribing Spooky's Reviews. That's very nice of you. I appreciate it. Also, I do recognize Spooky's reviews from some of my old videos. I believe she is an up-and-coming Timu streamer herself. Might have to go check it out. So random is fun plus random packages. So maybe do a, do a video that's focused on like one main thing, but then throw in a couple other things. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's check out what's in this next package of randomness. All right. What do we got here? Honestly, it looks like a shopping, like a reusable bag. You take shopping. Interesting enough. Coming up next, we got here. Uh, well, this would appear to be a Japanese or Chinese arithmetic book. So let's pop it open and see what kind of problems we got in here. You guys want to, you guys want to do some math with me? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Justin, this stuff is completely random. It looks like it's just a, like a math book, like a learning math book. Interesting. Yeah, basically just some basic basic math problems, probably for younger kids. I mean, this stuff is random because I did not order any of this stuff. So for those who missed the explanation of what we're opening, these are all um, completely random, undeliverable packages, and they just happen to all be from Timu. I got my hands on a few of them, and I have no idea what's in them. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. Phoenix, welcome to the stream. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, in case you missed it, 
This right here is the winner for the Sazur camera giveaway. Still got a couple more coming up. Actually, we'll probably drop out a we'll probably drop out the Gravistar winner here in just a little bit. All right, let's see what we got. Now, I do actually have the names on these packages of the ones who bought them. I wasn't trying to dox them or put their names out there. So, but I have no idea who they are. Looks like this one has a lot more kid stuff. A practice copy book for preschools. Yeah, very well could have been for a kid, absolutely. Some kind of brush, looks like. Looks like a little hairbrush. Uh, eyebrows for eyebrows. I mean, this stuff is definitely pretty random. There's no doubt there. Okay. So now we get into something that I probably would have ordered. I would order something like this. So this right here. Uh, Bore, one of the winners is announced. We have a couple more coming up, okay? The first winner was Vice Versa VR. So let's check this thing out here a little closer. What do we got? So looks like it's got a silicone insert and you can hook it on stuff for storage, possibly wet storage. Maybe you stick it up by a, uh, like your sink or something for keeping your cleaning materials. Looks like it could get wet, stay clean. That's pretty neat. All right, what else we got up in here? More randomness, everybody. Just, just a couple of plastic containers. Oh, you know what? These could be for salt or pepper, I guess. Yeah, look at that. It's a little salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Peacups. You know, what's really funny is that was the first thing I thought. I just tried not to say it, Justin. <laughs> oh, looks like we have some kind of cleaning tool here. Used for cleaning pipes out or something like that. Stoves. Yeah, you guys are right. These might be more specified for camping. Maybe that's kind of why they're built like this. A Jose cleaner. <laughs> yeah, very well could be. It's just, I just, I swear they have the craziest things on Timu and these bags are just helping show how random it is. Like, it's really interesting though. Like somebody mentioned earlier, they wish they could see who ordered this stuff because the things people order kind of shows a bit of who they are. It's very interesting. Uh, Mr. Oh, M. Kretman. M. Kretman, there's been one winner chosen so far. Here, I'll pop it up there. First winner for the Cezur, again, has been vice versa. So last couple of things we're going to be giving away today, just as an update, since we got a couple more viewers, is going to be the BenQ speaker. Then we're going to be giving away one of these mouses here from Cyberbyte. These are actually pre-production. What's really cool about these is if you get one, you'll be one of the first people in the world who's not an influencer who gets one. Um, they're actually not even out yet. Alvin, what are you not seeing? You're not seeing the chats or? Oh, here, our next item. You know what? I might, I might have to keep this because for those who know me or get to know me, I'm a messy person, especially when it comes to my workspace. Look at this. We'll just, we'll clean up all the Timu stuff here. <laughs> all right. So what is this thing for? Ah, so it looks like 3D Prince had to close the stream and open it back up to get the chat to come back on. I don't know a ton about the, uh, I don't know a ton about streaming myself, so I apologize, but it looks like, yeah, it looks like you might have to exit and come back if you're having issues seeing the rest of the chat stream. So this thing here, well, this is different. So it's got a lid. Man, you know, this it's shaped like a fish. This might be a fish scaler. I don't know. Like you, you scale and then you turn it over, dump it out.
Interesting. It could be for a lot. Oh, it could be a zest peeler. Good call. Good call. Armagon Oxwe. Sorry if I messed that up. 526 AM. Well, welcome, buddy. I appreciate your uh appreciate you coming by. Looks like a peeler. Looks like uh the consensus is it's a peeler, everybody. All right, so we got 21 viewers right now. Do we open another bag? Looks like I got three or four left. Or do we call out the winner and check out a couple of these mice? You guys get to vote. What do you guys think? A couple more Timu bags. Wait for some more people to join. Or open up these mice and check it out. So we got Phoenix voting for a bag. Okay. <laughs> Another vote for a bag. Well, bags are winning here, guys. Bags are winning. I'm going to have to set the mice to the side. Oh, yeah. It shows 22 now. Welcome, everybody who just joined. Welcome to the stream. You know, everybody's voting the bag, so I think we're going to have to open a couple more bags up here. Let's get into it. All right. Let me try to cut some of this open here away from the mic so I don't drown your guys' ears out. Oh, wow. Okay. This is... What in the heck? Do we have a vest or a backpack here? Okay, <laughs> what do we got here? Well, this looks like a tack vest. Well, that is cool. I didn't even know they had that on Timo. This feels like pretty solid quality too. Check that out. Oh yeah. Layla, welcome to the stream. How's it going? What do you guys think of this one? Nice little tactical vest, came from Timu. Got some Velcro, removable. It'd be great for paintball or, yeah, cause it's got some bigger pouches here. So this might be made for paintball. So if you're playing paintball, you could put your extra paintballs up in here, stuff like that. <laughs> no, no, definitely not a bulletproof vest. Alvin, you want the vest? It's yours, bud. The vest is yours. Alvin called it out first, Mr. Gaming. Sorry. <laughs> Alvin, I'm setting this to the side for you, brother. All right. So, well, I mean, if uh, the person who ordered a tactical vest ordered that, then these are probably gloves to go with it. Alvin, I'm going to have to send you the gloves, too. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to try them on first. I'm going to try them on. Oh, gaming can have that. <laughs> hey, those those are a pretty good size. Spooky's Reviews, <laughs> thanks for the donation. <laughs> I might have to uh, call your grandpa and tell him to take the credit card away, but I appreciate it. That was my first super chat ever on a live stream though. But check out those gloves. You know, I am kind of curious too. While we're going through all this stuff, what does this go for on Timu? You guys are always curious about the prices, right? So let's uh let's pop open some Timu here and let's see what the the vest would go for. Let's see if we can find it. If anybody finds it before me, shout out the name of it. All right, I'm going to go over to the left screen here. Yeah, it looks like they got quite a few of them. Uh, I would say it's most similar to these two, so about 25 bucks. Not horrible prices, honestly, because that thing feels like pretty decent quality here. Now, let's look up the gloves. Yeah, 20 bucks. You said, tell you the quality Timu offers. That is a very... That's a pretty simple question I can offer. Honestly, over Wish, I had bought stuff on Wish for a long time. A lot of it was a lot cheaper than you would expect, even for the price. But in general, with Timu, I've been pretty happy with the quality. Like these gloves here, these are 20 bucks. These feel a lot nicer 
than anything I would get for $20 at a store, especially if you go to like a paintball store or something like that. Uh, it's a lot better than Wish though. I've been happily surprised with a lot of it. Now, when you get into things like, like drones, okay, so the drones were fun and they fly pretty decently for the price, but you gotta be careful on the prices because sometimes the exact same thing could be $30 or 150. And their drones are not worth 150 bucks, mostly because of the camera quality. The camera quality on all the drones I've tried, pretty low. Usable, but low. So keep that in mind. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, though. I did not expect to find anything like that in these bags. Oh, this guy's bag's not, uh, this bag's not empty yet. What do we have here? Let's get the keyboard back out of the way and pop back down to the overhead. So what do we have here? Well, this appears to be a pew pew case. Uh, I don't know the regulations on saying other words than that. Uh, no, not a plate carrier. Um, yep. That is definitely a carrying case. Whoops, wrong screen there. For a certain type of thing. I am not going to say the certain type of thing. But you guys can see what it is. Oh, looks like we have a request for this one. Justin, you want it, huh? Are you located in the U.S.? If you are, it's yours. I need to start writing this stuff down. Let me, let me get a notepad out and save who's getting what here. Give me two seconds here, guys and girls. All right, so. All right, so for those who have asked for things and I said, yes, you're getting them, can you guys do me a solid? Can you go message me on Instagram? I'll go ahead and throw the link up in there. It's just, it's really gonna help me keep track of it. There's the link right there to the Instagram. If you could message me on there, that would be great. Uh, let's see, you are getting the, the Pew Pew holster. And Alvin wanted the tack vest. And gaming so far is getting the metal sign. I'm gonna call it the metal sign. All right. This is actually, all right, you know, this is kind of fun. I might have to do some more live streams, guys. Don't get me wrong. I might go broke if I keep giving away this much stuff, but that's all right. <laughs> so this, this was the fun bag so far. That's, I think that's been the most interesting one. That's been the most interesting bag out of all the stuff is definitely that one. If we're lucky, we'll get some more fun stuff like that. Okay, this appears to be something inflatable and it's in a vacuum sealed bag. So let's get back over to the other camera and we'll take a look. <laughs> Gaming was saying that's half of Elvin's vest. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I see. That is a basketball pillow. Ooh, that is soft. That's interesting. So, uh, Salty, you asked, is there somewhere to buy pallets of returns? Now, are you talking about specifically Timu or in general? Because if you're talking in general, I've been working on a video now for a couple of months. Um, and that video, it's going to be pretty in-depth. The video is going to teach you not only how to buy pallets, but where to buy pallets, what to look for, what to do with the stuff. It's going to be a pretty long video um, as far as finding specific Timu stuff. So this stuff isn't returns. What this stuff is, these are called undelivered packages, and these are really hard to find. Man, this thing is just, look at this thing. This thing's soft. Okay, so Spooky's Reviews has requested this one. That's done. Spooky's reviews. I guess this one's for you. You would love to see that video. I hope people love to see that video because if I'm being honest, I've spent 
do you guys want to know how much I've spent trying to make that palette video? If you want to know, I will tell you. <laughs> Say type in chat if you guys want to hear the number. I'll, I'll share it, but it's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> Alvin said, tell us, Alvin's the boss. Alvin, I have spent close to $6,000 buying return pallets, everything from home furniture to computers to Timu stuff to monitors over the last couple of months, trying to get as much information as I can on these pallets. It is hands down going to be my most expensive video, given I can sell a lot of the stuff, yes, but there will also be some giveaways from that video too. Probably a whole computer, if I'm being honest. Yeah, and I'm not rich, guys. Yeah, I got 12,000 subscribers. I am not YouTube rich. Scott G, thank you very much for the $5. And the broken hand controller. That emoji is pretty neat. I need to get some custom emojis. How many items are we allowed to steal? I mean, request. Oh, well, honestly, most of this team of stuff I'm opening, um, I'm willing to give most of it away, you know, some of the, well, there's not really anything too big. A Timu controller. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Scott G. Thank you. All right, so this was also in the package with the Timu pillow. You know, honestly, this there's only one word for this. This is bling. We got some bling in the house. Yeah, I'm not doing great with that zip. So we're just going to open it. Open it the uh, unbox analysis way with a pretty dull knife. Okay, let's let's check out our bling here. It says the number 23. I can't quite tell what else that says there. It might say congrats. Try it on. We have a, all right, you know what? We're we're putting the bling on. Let's do this. This thing might choke me. It's it's not very big. LeBron is LeBron number 23. Oh yeah, that's uh this is this is my life now, guys. Okay. My my YouTube Timu bling, guys. This is this is the Timu bling right here. Someone says Jordan, someone says LeBron. Not much of a sports guy myself. I like watching games. I just don't have the time to keep track of all of it. Let's see if this camera can get a little better view of this thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, hey, this is up for grabs, too. If anybody wants it, shout it out. Looks like a couple people are saying it's Saint No Jordan or Wait No Jordan. I got I to gotta keep that. Why is that, Justin? It looks pretty good. <laughs> Actually, that's surprisingly heavy. That weighs a lot more than I expected, honestly. Phoenix, if you if I find a knife, can you call dibs? If I find a knife, you've just called it. All right, so Justin, you know, Justin, I'm going to put this on there as bling. Move around, there we go. All right. I'm sure you're going to rock it too. All right, we got two bags left. So for a minute, I want to check out these mice now because I am a collector of the, the keyboard world. I would like to keep a couple of these for the collection. Looking good. <laughs> but I just think it's really cool that this company sent this over. So these mice here are made by a company called Cyberbyte. These are pre-production models. So they, they did tell me a couple things like on the black one, they said the, what, how did they put it? The anti smudge stuff will be added later. They said some parts get a little bit worse fingerprints. Oh, that feels pretty good. You know what? We'll try to plug it in, see if we can get some power on it. Storm pink looks fantastic. Well, keep in mind, one of these is going to go away to the chat today. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that giveaway yet. I don't want to just pick somebody who says me because I imagine more people would want a mouse. I want to try to make it a little more fair. Let's see if this will work here. 
No luck there. Let me plug this into something else, guys. One second. A random spin. You know, that's a good idea. So what we'll do is maybe we'll have the people who are interested pick a number and then we will go do a random spin with the number. Also that keyboard gaming, I will definitely talk to you about that in a second. Okay, so let's check out the colors in this thing. I mean, that looks really sharp, it's clean. The camera's kind of blurring it out a bit, making it look like it's bleeding, but it's a very clean color. Uh, we'll do one to however many people want the mouse. And then the winner will get to pick which color they want. All right, so trying it out, mouse. Oh yeah, no, the mouse feels great. It's got a really nice wheel on it. Seriously, that's, that's a pretty solid mouse. I don't believe this company has made any mice before. Now they were telling me these are all pre-production. There will be a couple of small changes when they actually come out and I'll make sure that I, uh, I'll get some links. I'll get some links out to everybody if they want to buy one once they come out. They're pretty, pretty neat. Let's check out the, uh, let's see how vibrant the colors look on the other ones. Woo, look at that cable. That looks fantastic. Yeah, you were right. That color storm pink is awesome. <laughs> Alvin, I call one through 10. Alvin, that's cheating. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. Heck yeah, look at these things. It's just so cool that, it's just so cool that companies send me stuff like this. Like when I started this channel a year ago, I never expected companies would be sending me things that aren't actually available to the public just yet. Oh, look at that blue. Look at that. Come on camera, focus. Yeah, man, that looks amazing. The cables look nice. I'm very impressed with this company. I don't have a great way to go over mice. What I use here is a random Frank P G2 mouse. It works great. All right, so if you wanna get in the, uh, the giveaway, first off, I guess let's say How about this? Anybody who wants to be in the giveaway, I need you to type the number one. Do me a favor, only type it once, just so I can count how many people are there and then we'll decide how many numbers are gonna be there, okay? These things really do look great though, no joke. These look, these look phenomenal. So I'm giving everybody a second. If you wanna be in the uh, giveaway, just type a one. Now do keep in mind, for the giveaway, I can only ship to Canada, US, and Mexico. Those outside, I really apologize for that. We'll give it a few more seconds. Actually, at this point, it seems like a lot of people here. So what we're going to do in that exact order, we're going to go ahead and get some numbers. And then we will pick on a random number wheel. Yeah, it seems like just about everybody. And since we only have, what do we have, 19 in the chat right now? It looks like we could just go to 19. And then everybody will go ahead and pick their own number now. So the first person to pick the number gets the number. So if somebody else already typed it, try to pick a different number, okay? Oh, it looks like we got a couple uh, duplicates. Oh, we got a lot of sevens. Looks like Justin got the seven. Whew. Um, uh, it looks like five was already picked by Jen Fraze. Tom, let's see. Actually, Tom, from my screen, you were the first one to pick a three. Okay, so after you guys type all those numbers, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it on the other screen for the spin. We'll do the spin, then I'm gonna go check to see who the first person was to post that number. 
We'll give you guys a couple more seconds for anybody who hasn't posted the number just yet. Let's see. Spooky's Review says I'm taking four. Yep, you did, Spooky's Reviews. You had the four first. So just scroll back up real quick, double check, make sure nobody else had your number first. We're doing one through 19 because that was the amount of viewers at first. Looks like we're down to 17 now. Make sure to share the video with your friends if you want anybody else to come check us out. All right, we're gonna switch over to left monitor. And here in just a second, we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, do the spin. All right, we got one through 19, here we go. Looks like the winner is 16. All right, let's see what we got. Who was the first one to pick 16? Did anybody pick 16? <laughs> Wait, are you see? That's the number nobody picked. Oh no. We're going to have to spin again. <laughs> D. Burton, you can't pick it after I spin, bud. <laughs> I'll spin again with the numbers we already had, okay? <laughs> oh, almost everybody picked a number, and the person who won was <laughs> the number nobody picked. Here we go. I'm going again. All right, so we got the number five. I know five was picked. All right, let me see. First one to pick five was, looks like it was Jen Fraze. Jen Fraze, you still with us? Was it Tom or Jen? It was Jen, right? Let me scroll back up and double check here. Yeah, first five I see is Jen Fraze. Jen, are you still with us? On a slow foot. Hey, no worries. You Okay, now here's the next part. You get to pick which color you want. Give me a second. I'll pull them back up for you. My desk is getting real messy here like I do. So here's the three choices. You can do the pink and white, blue and white, or the black. So she was saying her phone's a little bit slower there, so we'll give him a second. Adam, welcome to the stream. <laughs> yep, Jem, when you get time, just go ahead and let me know which color you want. Here are your three choices. We'll go with pink, blue, and black. You let me know. And then also do me a favor, Jen, if you could reach out to me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and post that again. It's just, it makes it a lot easier for me to talk and get details for shipping and stuff like that. Jen has chosen the blue mouse. So go ahead and reach out to me on Instagram there, Jen, and I will box this back up all nice and neat for you. All right, put this back in the box. Congratulations on the mouse win there, Jen. The other two will definitely be staying in my collection. Sorry, everybody else. All right. So, blue mouse, all packaged up for Jen. Get the details, we'll get it out to you. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna spend a whole bunch of money on shipping tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> Actually, it'll probably be Monday. Monday, yeah. Let me move some more of this stuff out of here. I'm making a mess. It is my specialty. I am very good at making a mess. Mick Cooter, welcome to the stream, the Pop King. How's everybody doing today? Bag time. Want me to get back to those last couple bags, huh? Oh, real quick. So earlier, Gaming to the Max, you asked, where did I get this keyboard? Now, actually, let me switch back over. If you look back here on the desk, you can see I'm kind of a keyboard person. I wasn't 
but a keyboard started this whole channel. I saw this keyboard and I had to make a video on it. It wasn't this one. It was my Mountain Everest Max. Um, I love keyboards. I don't know what it is. Before, I didn't care. I had some regular off-the-shelf gaming keyboard, but keyboards like these have really caught my attention. The way they type, the sound, the feel, the look, love it. So what I have here, this is actually a Nufi keyboard. Here, we'll flip it over on the back. This is called the Nufi Akira. This thing is awesome. It has really great control colors. The quality from Nufi is crazy. If anybody ever wants to check out the um, the keyboards from Nufi, go check any of my videos. I have uh, I have 10% discount links, very useful, save 10% right off the top. They are affiliate links, so they help me out too. Always appreciated. Actually, at some point, if you guys want in this stream, I can pull those boards over here and we can go through some of my favorites. Could be something fun to do. Let me try to catch up on chat here real quick. First live, oh no, Justin, it's not first live stream messes. I am, uh, I'm always messy, my friend. It is, it is my way of life. I, I, uh, I'm working on it. This is, this is as clean as this room will probably ever be. <laughs> All right, it looks like a couple people want to see the keyboards. We'll definitely show them off here in a little bit. Um, so for those who are just joining or missed this, recommend, hold on one second. Let me check this out. Recommends. Hey, how's the stream quality, everybody? YouTube is telling me that I should stream at a higher quality. Is this looking all right? Everything looking clear? Kind of add that to the notes too. Some phrase blue mouse. One forty four p. Ouch. <laughs> Looks good. You got ten eighty p here. Okay. Should have been streaming in four k, but again, I could have messed that up. I try to do as much as I can in four k for sure. Uh, Spooky's Reviews, you got something to ask. Go ahead, what do you got? Oh, you know what, Justin, that brings up a good point. He said it looks good on his TV. I'm very curious, what are you guys watching on? Are we on, just shout it out. You guys watching on phone? Are you guys watching on tablets, computers, TVs? I'm always really curious about this. Oh, gaming to the max. Thanks for stopping by. We'll definitely see you on the next one, hopefully. TV, phone, spare monitor, PC, potato, phone, <laughs> potato. You know, it's funny. I just, I read that and didn't even think twice about it. I read potato and I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Watch on the TV type of phone. Okay, we got a pretty good mix here. Phone and 55-inch TV. Looks like a lot more phones than computers, though. Nice. Oh, you will be back? All right, man, hurry back. I'm not sure how long we'll run the stream for. If I'm being honest, I did not plan that far. I did not plan that at all. <laughs> Phoenix is watching it on an MP3 player. Hey, there's, there's some out there that can do that. Actually, real quick, you guys want a sneak preview of a video I'm working on? I think it's really neat. I'm only going to show you the box though. Let me grab it. This is a box. If you guys can figure out what it is, I'm not going to see anything else. This is a box to one of the weirdest cameras I've ever seen. The company itself failed, but I think this is going to be a really entertaining video. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Spooky's Reviews asked, I want to do a first stream. What are your tips? Um, might have to ask me that after the stream. That's when I'll know exactly what I should have done the whole stream. <laughs> ah, MC Cooter knows what that camera is. You know, honestly, I heard the cameras are not good, but it's just so weird and it's such an interesting story. I had to get one. So I can't wait to actually 
open it up and get my hands on it, but I'm not opening until I start the video. It's going to be, it's going to be cool though. I'm, I'm excited. All right. This bag feels like mostly closed. Should we open it anyways? Let's check it out. Keep in mind, I have absolutely no idea what kind of clothes are going to be in here. Yep, this one is definitely close. Uh, Pop King, the giveaways. Hold on, before we go to this, I will answer that question. So, we've already done a couple of giveaways. We did a giveaway for a mouse, and we did a giveaway for the Suzuki camera. We still have a couple more coming up. We're still going to be working on the uh, BenQ. The $210 little learning speaker, Bluetooth speaker. That is definitely still coming up. And, oh, I didn't do Gravistar yet, did I? We still have the Gravistar one, too. All right. Yeah, this is definitely close. I mean, we can open it up and check out the quality. Kind of see how it feels. I mean, quality-wise, it looks like uh, possibly pajamas. Yeah, definitely some kind of pajamas. Quality-wise, not, not amazing, going to be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should switch cameras. That'd be smart, wouldn't it? I mean, interesting patterns, if that's the kind of colors you're into. All right, got another shirt. It says queen. Looks like pants matching. All right, the quality on these ones feel a little bit better. So I haven't experienced a lot of the quality with Timu clothing. I ordered some. Actually, I still have a Sheen review coming up where I bought a bunch of clothing from them. Feels pretty similar to the Sheen stuff. Queen, I know what you're thinking, Burton. That's actually probably going to be my shirt. I'll probably wear that in the next live stream. That's probably my best bet. Uh, leggings, I guess. All right. And then another... Okay, see, that shirt feels a lot better, too. See, the Timu shirt quality is kind of all over the place. Like, this is this actually feels like really nice quality. It's kind of stretchy, but yet it feels like good fabric. I don't know what that says. Faith. Oh, it says Faith. Okay. It's in yellow and then some pants in black. All right. Hey, look at this, guys. I'm getting Christmas presents right now. I didn't even know it. We got one more bag left. One more. You got an Indian motorcycle shirt, and it was pretty good quality. Yeah, like some of that stuff felt really cheap, but some of it felt actually pretty nice. All right. So go for the last bag. Is that our guest, Scott? Go for the last bag or do the Gravistar giveaway. What do you guys want? Let's see. Yeah, looks like we got a couple of votes for that last bag. I'm hoping the last bag's not closed. I felt it. It felt like there was non-closed things in there. So let's dive into it. Oh, yeah, not all closed. Eric Braley. Well, hey, we got the giveaway coming up for that real soon. All right, first thing, that is not closed. It's still something you wear, though. Alvin, I will definitely have some recommendations for that. After this bag, I will definitely do it. Also, green, is that a super chat or something? Interesting. All right, you know what? They don't feel super expensive, but those look nice. I don't imagine that would have a lot of, uh, a lot of grip. But man, those look cool. What do you guys think about those? No idea what size they are. I might have to try them on. Well, thanks for the super chat, Alvin. I will definitely be responding to that here in a minute after the bag, if that works for you. 
What do you guys think of those shoes? You guys order some shoes from Timu? They actually feel a lot better quality than the water shoes I ordered. I think I did my in my Timu under 10 haul. I think I that was the one I had some water shoes in. Yeah, check those out. Actually, they feel a lot better than I thought they did. Those aren't bad. I don't know if they'd have a lot of grip, though. Set these off to the side. Oh, it looks like we got two pair of shoes in this one. Oh, looks like uh, some possible Balenciaga-type knockoffs. The Balenciagas, those are some weird shoes. You know, I was wondering the size myself, but there doesn't appear to be any tags in here. Hold on. Maybe this is a tag right here. Nope, that is not a tag. There's no actual tags telling me the size. These look a little smaller. If I had to guess, probably a 9.5 or a 10. Actually, while I'm holding the shoe here, I want to tell you guys about some of the sponsored videos I turned down and what you guys think about it. So I had a couple companies from China reach out to me. And what they do is they actually make one-to-one -one replicas of like the Jordans, the Balenciagas, all those fancy expensive shoes, collector shoes. They offered to send me a few pair to promote it. I don't know how the audience would feel about that. Would you guys actually be into seeing that kind of stuff? This is the best time to ask the question, I suppose. Let me know. Because I turned on a lot of weird sponsors. <laughs> There's a lot of, yeah, especially the shoe one. You know, it's just, it's a weird subsect that I'm not really into and I don't know a lot about. Now, shoes that I do like, Vessies. Honestly, ever since they sponsored that first video, that's pretty much what I wear every day. Yeah, what do you guys think? And check. I mean, these look nice. I have no idea how long they would last, but they really look nice. It's pretty sharp for a probably cheap shoe. Actually, let's let's check these out. Let's let's see what they go for here. I'm not quite sure what I'd type in, so we're just gonna type in white men's shoes. Not oh, right there. Something like those. Those are pretty similar. They got a buckle on the side. Pretty much the same, $17. So these are probably around $17. All right. You got all sorts of sizes here. Yeah, those are pretty similar. Definitely similar. Not identical, but close. Salty says, I can order one-to-one -one products. The Postal Service takes them. They just grabbed a bunch of watches and shoes a few days ago. Yeah, because I was thinking if they are knockoffs and just straight up copies, there's a really good chance they could get stopped while coming through, you know? Yeah, and I mean, in the end, Justin, I would still make the video, you know, even if it's not good, but if it's not good, I'm going to tell you. But see, the problem is, I feel like you'd have to really be a true like sneaker person to know whether or not it is close to the real one. And collecting a $1,500 pair of Jordans has never really been my thing. But it is interesting. Yeah, and I mean, like uh, Pop King said, tell them to send some samples first to check them out. And I mean, if they sent me the samples, I would. I just wonder how YouTube looks at that kind of stuff. Like, I, I would straight up say, these are fakes. I'm not supporting the idea of making fakes and clones. But if you wanted to, this would be a place to get them. Spooky's reviews, I'm going to give you that money back because I am not doing a random dance, but I do appreciate the offer. <laughs> All right, should we see what else is in this bag? All right, let's check it out. <laughs> also, Spooky's Reviews is not a random child in here trying to get me to dance. Uh, she is somebody that I know, just to make it sound a little less weird. <laughs> All right, looks like we got some kind of some kind of hoodie here. Oh, we're going to pause on the hoodie. Let's go back to Alvin's question for a second. Alvin, let me ask you one more thing before I answer the question about the video camera. So 
tell me your main goals. What do you want to use it for? Do you want to do YouTube? Are you looking to do still pictures? Like just in general, and then give me the price range that you want to spend. And I'll try to recommend something in there. And that goes for anybody else who wants some, some tech advice. I love tech. I'm looking at this stuff all day long when I'm not working. Um, and I would happily, you know, give you the best advice I can. So Alvin, answer those questions. And then we'll go back to the sweatshirt for a minute. Quality wise, honestly, again, feels a lot better than Wish, but something about it still feels kind of off, kind of cheap. No surprise though. Oh, what is this? The Waymaker Miracle. I mean, the colors on it are super vibrant. We'll give it that. Okay, it's more of a religious thing. Promise Keeper, Light the Darkness. That is who you are. Interesting. To video your your daughter. So, Alvin, what do you mean by video, like to make content, or just just for um, like just for memories, just something to keep around? Also, if anybody here wants that hoodie, shout it out. We'll get it shipped out to you. Let me know. Just for memories. Honestly, the best thing for that kind of camera stuff really nowadays is the cell phone. It's really hard to even recommend to buy an external camera with cell phones. Um, now, given with a camera like mine, I run the Sony ZV-E10. It's about a six to $700 camera. And the best part about video and with this kind of camera is you're going to get a bit further field of depth and quality. But in the end, it's really hard to tell the difference between a phone and a camera like this when you're recording day-to-day -day stuff. But if you did just want to get a nice camera, the Sony ZV-E10 is awesome, but that is six to $700. I believe they have a ZV-1 for about three to 400. I guess it really depends on exactly what you want. Salty said, I would burst into flames if I put on that hoodie. <laughs> about 300, huh? Now, are you against used stuff? Spooky's reviews. There is no chance I am doing your Squidward dance. That might get me kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> Stop spending your grandpa's money right now. Oh, no. Blue flames. Uh. So, Alvin, I guess around the used price, if you could find yourself a Sony ZV-1F camera, I have seen a ton of reviews on that. I'm um, looking here. looks like a lot of people are asking around 358. They're mainly a vlog camera, what makes them great for moving, like moving videos where kids are playing or doing something. They're pretty solid and they have pretty solid bit rates as well for video and photos. So I would definitely check out the Sony ZV-1 or the ZV-1F. All right, I think we got a couple more things left. This is the last of the Timu bags, everybody. Spooky, stop spending your Christmas money. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Um, who was that who would burst into flames if they put that on? Salty. Salty, you're not going to like this shirt either, my friend. But saying aside, beliefs aside, I am not getting into any of that stuff here. Absolutely not. But I will say quality-wise, feels nice. It's stretchy. I might have to check out some more Timu clothing. I've checked out a few things in the past, but nothing too crazy. But it's interesting. Not bad. All right, I think it's time we jump into the Gravistar giveaway. Now, can anybody remember how I said I was going to do that giveaway? I think I said I was going to do it with the comments on the channel, but they had to be here when we did the giveaway. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure that's what I said. Let's take a look. Lots of angry Christian Timu shoppers. Yeah, because they didn't get their stuff.
you know what, with the Gravistar thing, it almost might be easier. Because, I mean, I'm assuming if a lot of the people are here, they probably commented and wanted to be here for it. So, what do you guys say we do the number wheel again? And then whoever wins on the number wheel will get to pick from these two. So, just to go over them again, we have the Sirius P5 headphones from Gravistar with the super cool case. Then... We have the Alpha 65, 65 watt charger. Super neat little charger there. I got that out right here. Got the extending legs. Now keep in mind, North American uh, power outlet, but anybody I'm sending to on this stream, it's gonna have to be North American for sure. So go ahead and start posting your numbers. Uh, looks like we can do one through 19 again. It kind of keeps jumping back and forth. And then we'll go ahead and spin that wheel again. Give you guys a second to get those numbers going. Sixteen, thirteen, eight, nine. Just remember, if you happen to pick somebody else, like a number somebody else picked, go back through and go ahead and pick another number because we can only have one of each. And I'm going to go from the top of the list. So whoever picked it first, starting with Scott G with a five. And for those watching, yes, I did just try to move my hair out of my face because I still sometimes forget that I don't have hair anymore. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing we're probably pretty close. Oh, Looks like nine is already taken. FC The Rock. Might have to pick another number. Hold on. Let me see. Yep. Nine was taken by Alvin. Yeah, I don't know. With winter coming, I might grow the hair back out a little bit. We'll see. Yep, Jen is, she said she's on a slow phone there. So it's a little bit harder for Jen to keep up with the chat sometimes. Uh, Bryce, I see you chose 23. We are only going to 19 there. So I'm going to go through the list. Let's see, we got a five. 16, 8, 9, 11, 4, 7, 3, 18, 23. Again, can't use 23. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like the head being shaved. It's just, it was been a nice change, you know. But, you know, might grow back out eventually. Who knows? We'll see for now. Kind of like it. I think it's growing the Unbox Analysis brand. What can I say? All right, we're going to give it about another 15, 20 seconds here. Then we'll go ahead and spin the wheel of luck. Let me go ahead and get this switched over right now. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this spinning. Wait, where's the button? There we go. Spin, here we go. This is for the Gravistar giveaway. All right, winning number is 11. Okay, let's see who number 11 is. Number 11 will be Justin, let me try to say this, Akasita, is that right? Congratulations, Justin. Oh no. All right. All right, Justin, which Gravistar thing did you want? If you want me to show them on camera again, I absolutely can. Let me know which one you're feeling. You want the charger or the headphones? <laughs> Salty, it might be better to not grow your hair back if that's the outcome. And Justin will take the charger. This is probably the coolest charger I had. There it is. That will be going out to Justin. Nice, nice. Still have one giveaway coming up. All right, now I mentioned this earlier. Who was interested in seeing some of the keyboards? 
if people don't want to see them, I don't want to bore the stream. But hey, a few people want to see them, I'll bring over my favorite ones and kind of show you guys what I got. We'll check them out. Just let me know what you guys are thinking. Feel free to say no, I don't care about keyboards. That's acceptable. Opinions are okay here. Okay, we got a lot. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the top three from the table, and we'll check them out. And yes, that is my fake camera lens cup. Yeah, it looks like the stream was up between uh, 22 and 23 a couple of times. Not too bad. Not too bad. Honestly, I had no idea <laughs> how many people would or wouldn't show up. I didn't know if it was going to be five or 50 or what. All right, we'll do this one at a time. Let's start with the retro. So these were sent over to me by a brand called Quicksilver. I would never heard of them. But I absolutely love the colors. And Salty, I will go over that one again for sure. That is actually a volume knob, yep. So the reason I don't use most of these keyboards is me personally, when I'm doing a lot of stuff for work, I need a number pad. Now you can order the number pad separate, I just haven't gotten around to them. So Quicksilver, the cool part is, these are all what they call hot swappable. You can take out the keys, you can take out the switches, and change the sound profiles to each one. The racy, <laughs> no, John, uh, none of these keyboards have the racy keycaps I accidentally ordered from Timu. So to explain what John is talking about, these, these are keycaps. These are the ones that are on every keyboard. Everybody has them. Underneath are called switches. So I ordered some, um, I ordered a whole bunch of different keycaps from Timu, and let's just say the images on them were to the point where I could not show them on camera. Uh, that was pretty funny. Actually, all of these keyboards have the keycaps they actually were shipped with. I didn't change or customize any of them just yet. But yeah, I don't know. I love the color schemes of these. Like, I will not get rid of these. These will not leave. These are just super cool, super good quality. This one is called Dust Silver. Did I say Quicksilver? This is called Dust Silver. <laughs> and I have heard of the company called Quicksilver. But yeah, these are dust silver. So this one here is a USB Type-C wired keyboard, not wireless, but it's super cool. And then this one, look at the colors. Like, I like bright colors. This is the cyberpunk version from the same company, and this one's wireless. Nope, the other one's wireless. I had that backwards. See, I'm really good at this, right? I don't know, just super cool, super neat stuff. I mean, definitely definitely go check out these if you want to... Um, if you want to see videos on these, I did make a couple of videos on all these keyboards. I'm going to be honest. I think I made bad thumbnails and title because it might be one of my worst performing videos. <laughs> that, and you know what? I don't know if a lot of people saw it. Let me pull it up here. So a while back, I made, I spent months making a video. I made a video on a custom computer that I built from scratch. And the video... I thought it was gonna do good. I was wrong. The video was my worst performing video almost. Let's check it out here real quick. We'll just look at a little bit of it. All right, All right guys, welcome, welcome back, back to So you can see here, Today, this is the, this is the custom keyboard, or the whole on. case. This now, is a whole case that I made. Any of my past so if you guys are interested in custom computers, RTX go check that out. I was super happy with that video, you super know, proud of the build quality. A couple um, other fun at things some point, like that. I might actually make a whole that separate channel DIY build oh, type stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll get to that. That's coming up in a future uh, yeah. video. Back to the keyboard. But for now, let me show you this. Yeah. Yeah, they call that the uh, dust silver color, I believe. You watched it, Bryce? Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, the cyberpunk colors are just here. Let's look at that a little closer. Look at the, uh, look at the custom keycaps. Like this thing is just awesome. I know, keyboard nerd stuff. I get it. I get it. So the one I talked about a little bit ago too, cool thing about the uh, Newfie one here, 
It's got 2.4 wireless, so you can plug in a USB dongle. It's got Bluetooth, and then it has USB on the bottom, and this is a volume knob right here. I don't know what this knob does. I think it might change play, pause type stuff, but it's super, super cool. And then one of my other favorite ones, um, this right here is awesome. Like, I mean, it's just such a unique look. I haven't even taken the plastic off of this thing. I'm drawing a blank on the name of it right now, but this is actually the most expensive keyboard I own. This is about $220. I believe it's called the Mojo 68. I did a video on this one a while back too. Here, we'll try to do some, some sounds for you. Just, I don't know, I love the sounds. I find it so interesting. But yeah, that's, that's the top of my favorite keyboards. Now, I guess a couple of the other ones I could show too because they came from Timu. And I know most of my viewers like the Timu stuff, so you've probably already seen them. But don't sleep on those keyboards. If you want to get into the world of custom keyboards and you like Timu, just go buy one. Uh, the keyword to search for is hot swappable. Search that up. That's going to be your best bet. Really cool. Really cool stuff. Oh, better set these off to the side because they're not mine anymore. I'm going to have a lot of stuff to ship out. Love that sound. Me too. It's almost an addicting sound at that point. Also, as you guys can see, I am using the uh, light bar from one of my last Timu vids right over here. That is the standing RGB. Actually, for the camera, I had to turn it all the way down. Yeah, so make sure to go check out those keyboard videos if you want to see them, though. I mean, it's not everybody's thing if you don't want to watch keyboard videos. Totally understand. I get that for sure. All right. So for those who did win, I don't believe I have any messages on Instagram yet. So don't forget to do that when we're done here. Um, I'll make sure to post the link in again. Because that's going to help me get your information to ship it out. Putting keycaps. Yes, I have. Uh, are you talking about the ones that are made of ceramic? I have tried those. I do not own a set. A friend of mine had some. I got to test them out. Also, some exciting news. Let me share some exciting news with you guys. Um, I'm a small YouTuber. I'm not huge. I'm not some 100,000 plus subscriber channel. So when I got this invite, I was a little surprised. But I've been invited to CES 2024. That is going to be January 9th through the 14th. For those who don't know, CES happens in Vegas. It's a giant tech show where these tech companies are showing off the latest and greatest stuff that they're bringing out, and I'm gonna be there. And I'm gonna be doing as much coverage as I can. So it's not gonna be my normal videos, but there's gonna be a lot of really interesting stuff to see, and I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be a fun time. I will be taking my laptop to edit. I might have to upgrade my laptop. I don't know how bad it's gonna be to edit 4K on that thing, we'll see. My main computer, it handles it pretty well. But yeah, so if anybody happens to live out or near Vegas and you're around at the time and you see me, say hello. Uh, what to search for? You know what? Let's pop over to Timu. He was curious on what to search for for the keyboards. Let's take a quick peek here. So on Timu, what I would type, hot swap keyboards. So if you look here, the main things to look for. Now, I noticed some of the prices are getting pretty high. If you guys want me to check some of these out, I will happily buy some. Let me know. Thanks for the congrats, by the way. I appreciate that. But a lot of these little ones, look for keyboards that are hot swappable so you can change out the switches. That is what changes the sound profile the most. All of them, you're going to be able to replace the keycaps. Those are super simple, but so many cool different keyboards. Some of them come with some really neat cables. It looks like I have a whole bunch of new ones here. I might have to try some more coming up. All right. Let's pop back on over to here. All right. Somebody remind me, if you could, what were the giveaways for this one? Did they have to be on the stream? I think they might have had to be. I can't remember. I have a horrible memory sometimes. So if you remember what the giveaway rules were for this, 
Give me a reminder. A good GoPro to record B-roll Pokemon Go video. So you want to wear it like on your head, Jen, or like on a, like a like a chest mount or something for Pokemon Go? Because depending on your price, I actually have a better suggestion for record, recording Pokemon Go footage if you were trying to do that. Let me show it to you guys. You've already seen some footage from it in some of my videos. Okay, so this, this is my Insta360 X3. This is a 360 degree camera. I think if you want to record that footage, I would recommend one of these. You don't need to get the X3. I think I spent a little over 500 on this. Like I've said in my previous videos, I'm trying to reinvest everything I make right back into the channel because it's awesome and it's fun and I like doing it, but this was one of my bigger purchases. I've been using this to record my footage on, um, on the newer scooter reviews. If you guys haven't seen those, check them out. But yes, right here, this is my hands-down recommendation over a GoPro. Because then, if there's some interesting stuff going on off to your left or right while you're playing the game, you got footage of it. Uh, editing the footage isn't too bad, or you can run it in a 360 degree. But this thing, super cool. You can see it's attached to my chest rig right now. Um, also, when I bought this one on eBay, it came with the chest rig and a whole bunch of accessories. But super cool camera highly recommend this now if you really wanted just a gopro to wear in the head anything like seven black or eight and up are awesome the black edition is usually the higher edition of the gopro but yeah those would be definitely my recommendations for the camera to use so what do you guys think should we do more live streams should we try to make it a weekly thing I won't have as many cool things to go through, but it would be a great place to answer some tech questions. You know, I'm still gonna keep doing giveaways in the videos just because I have no use for keeping a lot of this stuff. Um, I appreciate the support I get from all of my viewers, undoubtedly, like I appreciate it. You guys have no idea. Like it's it's been really cool to start this channel and do this. But you know, when a company sends me something like this, okay, they're not paying me to do the video on most of them, but they send me the free stuff, so I might as well share it with everybody. All right, well, here in just a minute, we'll be doing the giveaway for the BenQ Travolo. Got the box for that over here. Yeah, honestly, live streaming is fun. Interacting with you guys is fun. The chat, a lot of fun, absolutely. Hey there, Amir Abbasi. I see the hand waves there. How are you? Ibrahim, yes, you can ask a question. Go ahead. What do you got? Yep. Yeah, I did just spill that on myself. Absolutely. Clyde Thomas, thanks for the super. Uh, normally when you do a super chat, you put a chat in there. If you had a question, make sure to throw it out. Love to hear it. Yeah, it is a good crowd, honestly. For the most part, almost every comment I get on my videos, I mean, even if they're being critical, like even if you're saying, hey, you shouldn't do this in the video, people word it really nicely because like um, like the knife review. When I did the knife review, uh, well, this one was from Timu. I use this all the time. But a lot of people pointed out things that I said that were incorrect and it's good to know. You know, I love learning new things. It's great. But most people weren't rude about it. They didn't say anything rude. They're like, oh, hey, by the way, this is this. And, you know, this is that type. Try that next time. And I'm like, you know what? I appreciate the constructive criticism every time. But yeah, Clyde Thomas, thanks again for that. I really appreciate the uh, super chat there. Oh, also a question for the current viewers. How many gamers we got out there? What do you guys play? I'm very curious. I do spend quite a bit of time gaming. I enjoy, uh, actually, the game I play the most of is an old game called Warcraft 3. I play a lot of custom maps, a little bit of Warzone. Yeah, thanks for that. I mean, it's just in life, there's no point in being angry and taking everything the wrong way, right? 
COD. You play Warzone there, Salty? Fallout New Vegas. Okay. I've been looking for some new games. I used to play a lot of Escape from Tarkov, but I haven't played that one in quite a while. Retro emulation on Raspberry Pi 4. So 3D prints, did you watch a lot of my emulator videos a few months back? What did you think of those? Mostly indie games. Okay, nice, nice. All right, so Ibrahim asks, uh, what subject do you suggest me to select after college? Uh, well, uh, I guess I can give some advice on that. First off, a little history about me. Um, I have a degree in aerospace engineering. Um, I was focused mostly on aviation electronics. I spent four and a half to five years in the Navy as an aviation electrician. Um, I was really big into that whole field, aviation, uh, technical repairs, troubleshooting, stuff like that. I've had a few engineering jobs since then. But if I could go back and do it again in today's world, I would probably focus more on uh, IT, information security specialist, stuff like that. Just just my two cents, you know. Actually, you know, definitely try to decide what's right for you. So what are the games we got? Um, what sound hex wall thing? Are you talking about the um, the wall panels in the back? If so, those were just some ones I picked up on Amazon a while back. No problem, Melvin. We got some Overwatch, Elden Ring, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. After watching, etc. Prime. Ah. Okay, so that's that's how you found my content when you were watching the um, when you were watching some videos on the retro gaming consoles. I still have a few of those kicking around. I definitely kept some of those. I plan on doing some new ones in the future about those little handheld. Uh, retro game consoles problem is after I reviewed about 25 of them they all kind of started to be just repeats of the same thing and I didn't want to drown you guys out with well here's the same thing from a different company you know I want to try to keep it a little different your uncle did the same thing on the USS Suribachi huh never even heard of that nice good to know Yeah, Bryce, I just found those on Amazon. I looked around for just sound panels, and I really like the look of the hex panels a little more. Actually, originally, this wall right here, this was supposed to be my streaming wall. And pretty shortly, I moved it all around. Uh, so here, let me see if I can tilt this up. I might mess up my stream a little bit here. Oh, can't show it too much. So right up here are both of my lights. I have a light panel here. And there, so right over here is where I do all the filming for the videos. I have an overhead mount up there. And usually on the overhead, I'm actually using the same camera I'm using right here. It's my old Galaxy S10 Pro. The Pi Boy DMG. You know, I've heard about, I think I actually have one of the Pi Boys. Oddly enough, so with these uh, Timu boxes or the Amazon return pallets. I've actually gotten quite a few random things from Timu in there, which is pretty funny. I'm guessing they also sell them on there. Now, I'm trying to remember where I put, where did I put that Pie Boy? I had a little red one, it folded open, kind of like an older Game Boy DS. It was pretty interesting. Yeah, for the, uh, originally I started using my S22 Ultra as my overhead camera. <laughs> and then I had this issue where my USB port stopped fast charging and wouldn't put through video. And that's when I switched to the S10 5G, which still records in 4K. But man, I had a lot of trouble because I actually sent back my S22 Ultra three times and they sent me a replacement. I had the same issue, but finally got a good one. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Ooh, another question for chat. What kind of phone you guys use? Are we Apple, Android? I think there's still some Windows phones active. What are you guys running? I'm curious to know. Actually, I think I know. S22 Plus. 
Ah, nope, this was a POW kitty. This is the other one I thought I had here. It's a little emulator I found in one of my Amazon return pallets. It's kind of interesting. I have not tested it at all. It just came in like that. It's just kind of cool. It's got a nice little case. You had a Fold. My last phone was actually the Galaxy Fold 3 for a while. It's just uh, with my other, my daytime job, it got a bit much to carry that around every day. Okay, looks like we got a lot of Samsungs in here. Nice choices, nice choices. Justin says, I got a sports medicine degree, but I would do anything with AI if I went back. Yeah, AI is some great advice too. Absolutely. Sports medicine. Maybe you can tell me what's wrong with my shoulder, Justin. We should talk later. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, if I'm being honest, 3D Prince, I actually don't play that many retro games, but the emulators entertain me. And every once in a while, I want to kick it with some old Mario. Uh, a huge fan of the old Metroid, Kirby, stuff like that. But I just like them. They're just interesting. Still driving the S20 Plus. Hey, that's still a great phone. I mean, I mean, look at the look at the quality here on my S10 5G. I mean, it's 4K. It's plugged in through a USB, and it still looks crispy clear. I think the light from my other monitor is overexposing it a bit, but I mean, the quality is still fantastic, even for an older one. Absolutely. Do you have a lot of the actual systems or the emulators, Scott? Uh, Hassan asked, this is wallpaper or like selling on the wall? Are you talking about the panels back here, right here? Is that what you mean by that? Yeah, you guys said the same thing. Samsung does make great phones. Now, I will tell you, I was very frustrated with their um, with their help recently. When I had to get two or three new phones, that was not a fun time. Uh, so what I have back here on the wall, I, Hassan, I hope it's Hassan. I hope I'm saying that right. Those are sound panels. Those are to help reverberate sound. And I got those on Amazon. If you just go there and type in hexagon sound panel, you'll find tons of them just like it. And I think I think all the ones on those walls together probably ran me about 60 bucks and I have about 15 left. An A52. All right. Yeah, it can get kind of expensive if you have to fix the phones. That is absolutely true. You're not wrong. You know, I had another question to ask. Um my unbox analysis logo. So I am thinking about, I'm thinking about starting a small merch line. I'm thinking some hats, hoodies, maybe some t-shirts. How many people here? I know it's not the biggest part of my audience, but how many people here would be interested in something like that? So this is the emblem I'm talking about. Just like right here, the unbox analysis part. What do you guys think about that? If I made some hoodies and hats and t-shirts, would you guys be interested in them at all? Well, that's a definite yes from Alvin. No surprise from my biggest supporter. Yeah, I've been thinking about looking into some companies, get some stuff made. The biggest thing is I know when a lot of YouTubers and streamers come out with stuff like this or like hoodies or merch, they get really cheap stuff. So it's not going to be the cheapest stuff in the world because I want it to be like a nice quality hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. Like exactly. If it's going to be a hat, I kind of want it to be a flex fit. I don't want it to feel cheap. I don't want it to get ruined when you wash it once or twice. So it's not going to be the cheapest thing in the world. I'm not looking to make a ton of money off of it by any means. I just think it would be cool to make them. But I th I'm thinking to start out uh, shirts, hats, and hoodies, probably. Tamo asked, do you think that the sound panels actually work really well? over packing blankets. No, honestly, there are probably some things that would work a lot better, but they make a huge difference. So this room I'm in is about a 13 by 15 roughly, 
And the echo in this room when I first started was absolutely horrible. But the biggest difference hands down that I had was simply getting mics of better quality. That had to have been the biggest change. But the echo in here was pretty bad. Now, another thing I added for the sound dampening was a big rug that helped a lot. Um, but the panels, they definitely help. I'm not sure if you guys can even hear any echo now. But also salty when they say blankets, there are actual sound panel blankets that don't look too bad. But it's something I could always install on the other wall that you guys don't see. But in the end, with the new mic that I got, here, I'll show you guys. This is really cool. So this right here is the mic that I use when I'm making most of my videos now. This is my lavalier mic. Got this little unit. This plugs into the camera. And then this one, I have two of which, go right on my shirt. It connects super easy. I feel like it sounds pretty good. Uh, I don't get complaints about my audio anymore, so it has to sound at least halfway decent. Yeah, I mean, this one I spent, I think, close to 200 on, which is really funny because the one that I got from Timu sounded close, but this one has a lot more vocal depth. You can hear a lot more of the highs, the lows, the mid. So for me, I chose to go with this one here. I just, I like it. It's awesome. What brand is this? I guess I could shout them out a little bit here. Yeah, this is the Hollyland Lark M1. Not cheap, but super cool. I enjoy it a lot, and I just love the easy use. It always connects every time. So it looks like I got a few people who would be interested in buying some shirts and hats. Cool, good to know. I'm going to keep working on it. I just got to find the right, the right way to do it. I'm sure I'm not going to sell thousands at first, so it'll be like a, I'll order them and ship them from here kind of thing. Cool. All right, what do you guys say? Is it time? We got 19 people here. There's a real good chance of winning. Tamo says, thanks. I fully believe the rug helps as well. Thanks for the opinions. Going to be on the road and creating a little sound booth that will sit over my computer to work from. Nice choice. Looks like it's time. Because remember, like I said, now, there is one person in this chat that I am going to disqualify from winning this. Just one. And that is Spooky's Reviews because she does not need it. Her mother told me so. <laughs> All right. So what I think, what is my, I wish there was an easy way to have a list of just people who are in here right now. So what I might have to do, I might have to go to the random generator and I might just have to click through until we find somebody who's actually in the chat. <laughs> no, Tamo, I don't mind shipping to Canada. That's just fine. Uh, the shipping that I just, I can't do overseas right now. Um, like for instance, uh, I don't know if you guys remember a few months back, I had a Timu phone I did. It was an Android Timu phone. It was like a $90 phone and the winner was from the UK. This was before I had tried shipping. Now, they wanted $160 to ship that phone to the UK, and it just financially didn't make sense to do that. So I actually gave the guy the money. But since I still work a full-time job, I can't really I can't really justify doing that on everyone just because, you know, still have a family to take care of, bills to pay, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and check this out. Now, Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Yeah, and it wasn't even just the actual VAT fees. That was just the straight shipping fees. And I checked a bunch of different places. Now, somebody did tell me to check DHL, so I'm going to look into that here soon. I haven't had a chance because they don't have a local office near us. But the prices were pretty unrealistic there. All right, I already had this page open. Give me a second to find it. My desktop is as messy as my desk. You had better believe that. All right, so this is for the Ben Q. So we'll pop on over to the left screen. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, like I said, you got to be here to be the winner. So hopefully whoever wins is here. Yeah, the quality on this little, well, here, you know, let me, let me show it off real quick again. So this is the Ben Q speaker. It's got a really nice little camera. It's Bluetooth. It has some passive subwoofer ports in the bottom. 
I think the uh, buy price is like 209. Now, seriously, if this is something you need and you don't win, go buy this thing. This qual the quality is awesome. We're getting ready to do the uh, giveaway on the BenQ Speaker Spookies reviews. Um, unfortunately, you are disqualified from that one. <laughs> I already told Chad about that one as to why. But don't worry, you're able to get into the rest of the giveaways, and I'm pretty sure most of that other Timu stuff is going to you anyways. All right, so BenQ speaker, really nice quality. We're going to go for the giveaway, so let's pop in over the left screen. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do it here. Let's see what we get. And we have to make sure the winner is here. We had 39 single comments. Let's pick a winner. Um... This person here, give me two seconds. I need to go to the actual video. I'm pretty sure this person actually lived in China. I try to keep track of as many comments as I can, but. Julian Cruz says here. Hello, Julian. Give me two seconds, guys. I'm going to check something out here. Yeah, what I'm doing right now is just checking out the comments because I do remember somebody close to this username had some comments saying that they were in China and I had to explain to them. Unfortunately, I cannot afford to ship to China. Well, no, I don't see that under their name. Welcome to the stream, Julian. Okay, so if you happen to be user NK3BF, which I don't believe that person is here. I do not see them on the list. We'll give it a couple seconds. And if not, we may have to just re-roll it until we get somebody that's here in the chat. That was the rules we set forth. Mr. Julian, did you comment on the video as well? Well, Spookies, I have to go off of what I said, and I believe what I said is you have to comment on the video and be on the stream. So I got to follow the rules that I already put forth. Here we go. Rerolling again. Ms. Sekhar Tudu, are you here in the chat? You have to comment on the video. Uh, let me see here. You have to comment on the video that was labeled Timu Gift Ideas plus Giveaway. It is where I showed off the actual speaker. So it was the video where I showed this one right here. But Miss Spooky's Reviews, you unfortunately are not eligible for this one. But you are eligible for the rest, so your name has been in them. You have to be in this stream, but you have to have commented on this video here. All right. I do not see a Mascar to do here, so we might have to re-roll here again in a second. No, there is not currently a live viewer here by that name. So on to the next roll. Muhammad Jason 2082. Well, Tamo, you can still go comment on it right now because we haven't gotten a winner yet because I don't see that person here as well. I did see a Muhammad here earlier. Nope, that was spelled slightly differently. Yeah, so at this point, if you haven't commented on that video, you can go comment on it now. We still don't have a winner just yet. Clyde Thomas, I just commented. Hey, it's never too late. Until after the winner is chosen and they're here, then it's too late. All right, going for another roll. All right, John Hutchins, are you here? I 
feel like we might have seen that name in here earlier. Nope, not the Timu drone video. It was my Timu gift ideas video that came out last week. John Hutchins. Oh, Spooky's Reviews. You were not eligible for this one because if you needed one, your mother and I would get you one. But you are getting a lot of the other Timu stuff nobody wanted. So don't worry. You're getting lots of fun stuff. All right. We have our winner, John Hutchins. You have won the Trovolo speaker. Nice. Yeah, I see. I thought I saw John Hutchins in here earlier, and here he is. John, I need you to do me a favor if you could. I'm going to repost my Instagram, and I'm going to need you to get a hold of me there and where we will get your information along with the other giveaway winners tonight. I'm going to try to get most of this stuff shipped out on, let's see, Monday. Monday should be good. Congratulations on that. All right. Give me just a second. Now, there is one other person here who is getting something else. I did say it at the beginning of this stream. It is Alvin Close. We're going to find something for him here, and I'll show you guys in just a minute. For now, let me throw this back over here while I go dig it out. Okay, so this is not something that's going to happen all the time, but Alvin has been a member. He used the join button. Um, joining is a way to directly support the channel. You get a couple extra emojis. Um, I would like to do some behind the scenes content for members as it grows a little bit, but he's been one of my biggest supporters. He's always there. He's watching the videos. So uh, Alvin, are you still there, bud? Welcome, Shikaria. All right, so now I'm randomly going to do some giveaways that aren't going to be posted for the members. Um, it's just going to be saying thank you. This is going to be a little bit bigger than most because you know what? It's been a good year. It's been a fun year growing. It's been super entertaining. Alvin's been there for a while. He's a really, seems like a really good person. So Alvin, here's what I'm going to give you. If you've watched this video, you might already know what's in this case. But Alvin, I'm going to give you this. This is a Holystone HS720G drone. I am sending this out to you because I appreciate my members and I'm going to try to give back any chance I can. Um, you know, I don't want the channel to be completely about giveaways, but... You know, this is about a $300 drone and this thing is killer. Great 4K video and this is going out to you. I appreciate your support, man. I really do. Um, the random giveaways for members, it's it's not going to be posted in videos. It's just occasionally I will give something out to a member because, you know, that's, that's just kind of what I want to do. That is not going to be all the giveaways. Do not understand that wrong. You 100% do not have to join members to be a giveaway. Supporting the channel like that is extremely appreciated, but it is not necessary. You do not have to do that. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that right there is going out to Elvin. Oops. I clicked weird buttons and it was telling me things. Hey, Justin, I appreciate you swinging by. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. All right, we only have a few more minutes left here in the stream. I think I'm going to cut it off at about 9 o'clock. So in the last few minutes, does anybody have any questions for me? Anything you want to know about any of the tech stuff? Uh, Shukaria, um, yes, we are just finishing. The stream started about two hours ago. Uh, I appreciate you stopping in. We're going to be trying to do more streams, and this stream will be posted on the channel if you want to check it out. Uh, believe me, with my channel being a tech channel, there's going to be plenty more giveaways in the future. Uh, it's definitely fun. 
but yeah, if anybody has any questions, you know, about any of the tech stuff, about me, suggestions for future videos, let's see what you got. You're interested, uh, okay, so Jen Frey says, my desk, uh, this desk here? Hmm, let me, I can answer that question with a picture. Give me a second here. Just a second, gotta find the picture. I'm fairly organized with that stuff at least. Okay, let's pop it over to the left screen here. So this, this is my desk here. I built this myself when I wanted to do my setup. Right now I have a third screen up here in the middle. You got my computer on the right. Uh, the desk is made from black walnut. So I bought the wood, <laughs> I planed it, I cut it, I shaped it. It was it was quite a set. Timo, no, that was not a Timu drone, the Alvin One. That is a Holy Stone HS720G. I did a video on that a little while back. But yes, that is my desk there. Actually, let's show a couple other things. So the LED strips, I soldered and wired them myself and they ran across the back. Now, I also have all of my cables managed very cleanly. Here, we'll, we'll show off the, the wonderful cable management. So if you look here underneath, cable management, all of my cables are ran through the wall. It was, it was quite a bit of work, but it was something I really wanted to do. There you can see the rug I use as well. Also, if you look here, there's a little button stuck underneath that actually turns on my speakers and my LEDs. All right, I got to catch up on chat. You guys are running off of me here. Uh, Julian says he would like to see some noise canceling headphones. Yes, I would like to work on that soon. I would definitely, um, I would definitely like to uh, see. Let's see. Also, Shukaria, if I'm saying the name right, you said. I am online, you announce my name. What did you see your name announced with? I may have just been saying hi. Try to remind me if you could, or if anybody else saw it, please let me know. Are you going to do more emulator handhelds or device reviews? Absolutely, Anthony. I'd love to get some recommendations on what to do on those. I love recommendations in my comments. I feel like I don't get many of those, but I would like to. Welcome back, Gaming to the Max. Oh, you said call you Max. Welcome back, Max. I really enjoyed this. Oh, hey, appreciate it, John. I had a lot of fun doing this. I had no idea how long the stream was going to be or exactly what was going on. Spooky's Review says you are amazing and all of your fans are amazing. What a nice thing to say. It was a lot of fun. And Spooky's Reviews would like to do a collab. Spooky's Reviews. We'll have to see how the future holds. What else we got? Sorry, I'm trying to catch up on uh, chat here. Yeah, I watch quite a bit of Linus Tech Tips. Have for a long, long time. Back since he had about half a million subscribers. Just going to ask about the wires. Yeah, I spent a lot of time cable managing those. It doesn't look as clean right now because I was never planning on doing live streams. So my cables on the outside for the cameras are everywhere. The accent speaker lighting. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the uh, custom LEDs. I can actually control it with my phone, but I set them to teal one day and never change them. Oh, Shukaria, I see. That was yours, and I didn't see your message in time. What was that one for? I see. Well, Shukaria, tell you what. Get a hold of me on Instagram. I'll post it again here. Um, and show me that that's your account name. Unfortunately, there was a slight time limit for that part of the giveaway, and I didn't see your name quite in time. But yeah, show me that's your name. I'll find something else to get out to you. Absolutely, okay? Just hit me up on Instagram. I'd appreciate that. Um, 
yeah, Timo, that drone was actually very awesome. I have a couple more drone videos coming out soon, but that one, that camera is phenomenal. What else do we have? Uh, yeah, Max, we remember you, definitely. But on that note, that is going to be it for the stream. I appreciate everybody for stopping out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, maybe we'll try to start doing them every Friday. Um, check out the Instagram and check out the Instagram here. And I will try to update in future videos too once I get a schedule going. Yeah, everybody's been super nice. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. For those who did win, make sure to reach out to me on Instagram. Let's get your addresses and stuff uh, in line. Thanks for that, Elvin. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the super chats and all that kind of stuff. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks.